a, a scenario, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. I got this girl real drunk. And, um... It sounds a little fishy. I, I, I like, got her drunk. I, 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 didn't just get drunk. I remember going, I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish Fly. Oh, so you raped her? Shut up. Spanish Fly. <laughs> what are you in, they spell it in the sex store. You, I, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had to. I had to so they sell the in the sex store, too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, and have sex with her. That doesn't mean it's legal. So I put the Spanish Fly in the ENJ. We drinking the ENJ. And so in my mind, I don't know if this really worked, but I felt like I got horny as she was drunk as and we had sex and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and fuck I'm like nah she like I can't I'm not doing that and I'm like let's run a train on it that's right yeah. okay so, right? so this so, is one on one it ain't right yeah so the next dreams are right so the next morning she wakes up the next morning she wakes up and um we talk about it and she's like what happened like we had sex she said okay well i'm glad it was you then a couple days later she's like yo are you sure i only had sex with you <laughs> and one of my stupid <laughs> cousins was going around saying he fucked her, which he didn't i okay. didn't, i know for a fact he did okay. i was dead the whole time yeah, yeah. he did not fuck her. yeah he looked at her naked but he didn't fuck her, right <laughs> so 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 i'm telling her no me and you just had sex nobody else did nothing so it just was weird that she was like well i'm just glad it was you you know what I'm saying? Because in my mind, I'm like, yeah, you could have been in a real bad situation if it was a That's another a compliment, man. A girl just said, yo, <laughs> at least you raped me. I didn't rape her. <laughs> I did not rape her. I did not rape her. Hey, if it was any of your cousins or friends who have been raped, but I didn't rape her because me and her had every intention of having sex with each other. So then why would you put the Spanish fly? I was a freaky I'm still a freaky I was really, I was, I, listen, my man, whole... Was she passed out while you her? Nah, she wasn't like... She was like one of those drunks where she was one of those drunks where like she was one of those drunks but she was like oh like co she wasn't coherent but she was up you know when your girls like when you're blacked out like that don't know what the is going on type shit like she was really she was awake up. and she was into it she was wasted yeah she was her really eyes were not rolling in the back of her no 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 okay she was, was she snoring while well, you were it was just sex. weird it was just weird because while we was having sex she was. Cause one of my homeboys used to fuck her on the regular. Uh-huh. Like when I say the regular, the regular, that was his girl. Like he hates me probably to this day. Wait, you so you your friend's girl? That was a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm scared of that kind. Of I don't even play them. Yeah, like a charge. How you beat that? Because I didn't do it. It was a it was a criminal sexual conduct with a minor charge. That means you would have to like register for this. Yeah, thing. I was, right? it was. It was it was the year two thousand, two thousand two thousand one. I think I was like 20, I was 20 years old. My cousin had just graduated from um, co- high school and he had got a scholarship to Penn State University. And I had a party and I had all of these chicks at a party. Like I was doing overnights at the, I was working at D93 then. So I had all these chicks there that I met through radio and, you know, chicks that my dude had known. So I used to see this, I always see this chick with my dude. So I bought, you know, I invited her to the party. So she was at the party and she got drunk, high, whatever, whatever. Something happened in the room with a couple of my dudes. I'm asking them did they mess with the chick, you know, after the fact, after she pressed charges. And they was like, no. But they was like, yo, she's bugging. I remember the night of, they were like, yo, she's in here bugging out. She's kicking over the TV and she's trying to set on fire. I'm like, what the f I left? So the next morning, I'm here and she says she got raped. She got raped. So I go to the hood to ask what happened. they like, yeah, you know, um, my cousin who had got the scholarship, yeah, he's in jail now. I'm like, he's in jail. He's in jail. They said he raped the girl. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I go down to the jailhouse, talk to the detective got myself. No, they ain't no one for me. I just told the detective, like, hey, look, I take full responsibility for anything that ever happened that happened in the house last night. You gonna take take the case? No, but I told him, I said, as far as I know, because I asked around, did anybody fuck up? I'm like, yo, nobody got raped. Yada yada yada. They didn't even have my cousin in custody. My, my other cousins was fucking with me. Because they was mad they didn't get invited to the party. Hating ass motherfuckers. So my cousin wasn't even in custody. So I went down to the, the jailhouse for nothing. So I'm like, I take four responsibility for everything. You know, I bought the alcohol. They was like, well, you're not even of age to buy alcohol. And I'm like, well, how'd you get it? Well, I got a crackhead to get it from me. You know, whatever. They went down there copping out, please. Yeah, that's right. They had to do shit. Yeah. So two weeks later, they come and arrest me for a criminal sexual conduct with a minor. So I had to get blood and hair follicles oh, oh you going down there to initially explain it they ain't had nobody else to, to, to depending on 
So being that I went down there and took full responsibility, well, lock him up. Did, did it get through? Um, you got indicted on it and everything, or now nah, I went to um, I went to I went to court. I went to court and they, they reduced the charges to like contributing to the delinquency of a minor because I had to give blood and all you know DNA samples and it wasn't me. Whoever whoever touched it, it wasn't me. So, you can't get on jail time over there. Nah, I got like probation, like four or five months probation or something like that. Man. Something like that's so. I mean, so I have to, that's the reason I don't play those games with females. I don't play games like that. Like if I'm kicking it with you. I'm kicking it with you. I'm not bringing no randoms over. Somebody I just met from the club. Some chick I just met. Like, I go through a process. I talk on the phone with girls. I take them out with me a few times before I even try to get at them. Like, I got to see where they head at. You know what I mean? You take your chicks out on dates? I mean, I wouldn't call them dates, but they come with me where, where I'm at. You know what I mean? If I'm at a club, go to the party or something, yeah, you can come too. Have a good time. You know? Black, dark black, light skin. It ain't about whether you're white. It ain't about whether you... Asian, Puerto Rican. It just matters about if you're pretty enough. That's what these girls won't. <laughs> that's the harsh truth they won't grasp. It true. ain't about your skin color. Are you pretty enough? You just joined us. Something popped up on the net yesterday about Charlemagne. Now, uh, I believe the uh, headline was Charlemagne raped his wife. No, it wife. says Charlemagne admits. Don't just make up a headline. Oh, yeah, it says well, Charlemagne else does. admits first sexual experience with his wife was raped. Who, Same who thing posted I that? Uh, Madame Noir. Okay. Well, that, that that stemmed from a conversation I was having on my podcast about rape culture. and uh, I mean, It was a lot of op-eds and think pieces last year, but I remember Teen Vogue in particular had a headline, you know, is drunk sex considered rape? So my wife and I were discussing it, you know, because the first time we had sex, we were, you know, super young and super, super drunk. So I asked her, did she consider that consensual sex based off the conversation that was happening online? And, you know, the audio clip they got circulating online, of course, is edited and it stops at me just saying, yeah, but she told me, yeah, I can see how people say that, but that's not what happened with us. It's not like I said no. Well, let me call her. Let me call her. Stop acting like you have her phone number. I gave you her number. Okay. okay. I let, let me <laughs> call her. That's so call crazy. And uh, Charlemagne would definitely call your wife if need be. That is not true. Yes, I would you never. Would. You had never. It. Definitely had Envy call his wife when he I was make in envy the middle call. of trauma. Let me call her. Hold on. Mo. You. Do you feel like discussing this headline? You know, I've never called you to uh, to have you on the radio. The last time you've been on the radio was 1999 at Z93 Jams in Charleston, South Carolina, New Year's Eve. We kissed on the radio. Wow. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. So t talk to the people, baby. Did I rape you the first time we had sex with each other? Uh, Lenard, you need to learn how to First of all, only Monique calls me Lenard. I'm just playing. Go ahead. No, I call you Lenard. Forget that. You need to learn how to tell stories. You shouldn't have used the word rape, first of all, because the conversation that we were having is about rape culture. So the conversation that we were having was that you felt like it was okay for you to have sex with me while I was intoxicated. That's a rape culture thing. That's not rape. So when you asked me that question, I was hesitant to answer you because you used the word rape, but, I mean, that's not what went down. Like, we both know what happened. And I was not passed out. I was very coherent. Like, enough for me to lift up my hips so you could take my panties off. So Knock it yeah. off. Kettle, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, that's what happened. You know this what happened. And the next morning, we had sex. So, I We mean, had sex I the next morning. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Your memory is for shit. You don't remember anything. And we first kissed that night, too. That was our first kiss that night. Wow, you guys dated for a year? That was your yes. first kiss? She made me wait for a year. Yes. You couldn't even get. She didn't like you really at first. What are you talking about? We used to go on dates all the time. And y'all never kissed for a year. She's a good woman. Okay, <laughs> all right. Angela, are you are you questioning me? Like, what's up? Why, why no, I'm just saying a year for a kiss. Uh, yes, for a kiss. I know this might be inappropriate. Okay, we well, don't ask it then. Was he good? <laughs> <laughs> was he at least good? Yep. Yeah, have a good Have a good morning, baby. I don't know why y'all be acting like my wife the one for smoke. <laughs> she she has no problem giving the smoke, okay? That is who runs the household, by the way. Now, can we ask the question? What question? This is a question that Team Vogue posted last year. And what's that? Is drunk sex consensual? We'll talk about it when we come back. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, Charlemagne's wife just called us, and um, she was uh, talking about the statement or the, the headlines that popped up yesterday. What were the headlines yesterday, Yee? It says, Charlemagne admits first sexual experience with his wife was rape. 
I, I, I want to acknowledge that my tone was all wrong when I was having that conversation yes. on the podcast. And I should have never used the term rape so loosely because it was irresponsible and not appropriate for what I was trying to describe. But what I was trying to describe was, you know, this conversation centered around rape culture and Teen Vogue uh, had a headline last year, is drunk sex considered rape. So my wife and I were discussing it because the first time that we had sex, we were both super drunk. So, you know, I, I asked her, did she consider that consensual sex based off the conversation? Which brings the question, 800-585-1051, is drunk sex considered consensual?